what's going on guys welcome back to caliber collectibles um as you can tell or maybe you can't i am in a different location i'm downstairs today so please bear with me with uh various background noises but um i have my first mail day monday video for you um which is why i have to be downstairs i've got a lot of cards that i have to go through so i need the extra space uh, my desk simply doesn't have enough space but I'm just going to jump right into this because I've been waiting for this stuff for a while and I just want to say thank you to everyone I did I did business with. Um, I'm really excited. I don't, I've don't. i been holding on to these for a while to make sure that I have enough for a video, so I don't know uh, or remember really what any of these cards are. I had to open this one previously because I don't want to give away any of my shipping information, but... This is going to be a card to start off our video, and here we go. So, first Mail Day Monday card, we have, let's see if I can open it. This is, oh, I think I remember what this is, yeah. So this looks like the DeAndre Hopkins soft, this is the sophomore season, Bowman, I believe orange parallel number 250 so this was a part of a trade that i did um i traded with a guy on instagram gave him a few uh bucks cards and he gave me this sophomore year deandre hopkins which i'm really happy about it. really good trade and this card is just so cool i mean it's nothing special it just got the orange border but i mean the fact that it's numbered out of 50 and it's a D hop, in my opinion. This is gonna go up in value. But that's our first card. It came in a protector, so I don't have to put any of my own on. Try to make sure I don't cut this. Uh, I have no idea what any of these are gonna be. Oh, okay, so this actually. <laughs> It's the first break I ever did. My first break I've ever done. Um, I partnered up with a, with a guy over in the UK. And I got two... I got one pick your team and one random. And for the random... I, I picked the 49ers and for the random team I got the Dolphins. So this is what I got from the break. We got a little Debo Samuel brilliance action. Which is really cool. Next, we got a little Eric Armstead. It was a it was a double prism blaster, Jimmy G. And little Ryan Fitzpatrick. So nothing crazy. Um, I think it was like twenty bucks. So you know, I I don't know. I don't necessarily think I got my money back, but it was my first ever break. So that to me is priceless. That's what that is. Let's see what these next ones are. A lot of these feel like individual cards. I have no idea though. Uh, okay, so this is going to be, yeah, okay. This is a, wow, this is wrapped really well. I mean, I was a little concerned because it didn't feel like it was, like, in anything other than the, um, the top loader, uh, but this is, let's see if I can open it. It's Darius Slayton, also sophomore season, not his rookie card, um, autographed, numbered to 149. And that's going to be way too hard to get out of there, so I'm going to leave that in there for now. But looks like, I don't know if that's just like a top, or what is that? I guess that's just some sort of protection. thought maybe there would be some extra cards in there, but auto Darius Slayton for my PC. Um, if you guys don't know, 
My PC is 49ers and Giants. My family loves the Giants. I'm personally a 49ers fan. So those are my two PCs. My individual player PCs are kind of weird. Um, they're kind of just based on who I liked growing up, who I um, looked up to because I did play football, uh, and then just kind of random things. Um, so my PC is kind of weird, but this is a, such a good looking card. I mean, it, it's very sharp. The shine, the little silver action there, the auto looks nice, but sophomore season, Darius Slayton, auto number two, 149. All right, now we're gonna start getting into some bigger, some bigger lots. Um, let's see. Upside down. Can I just open this? Nope. Okay. So, let's see what this. Is. Lots of top loaders, actually. Packaged very well. of it all right i see um i believe this is i ordered uh, a whole bunch of random uh, it should be mostly mosaic cards from uh, a guy on instagram so pretty cool let's see what we got we got mark andrew pro bowl so these were kind of just ones that i threw in just on the side because it's thought that would be interesting this one looks really cool though i think this is the lamar jackson reactive i think this is that's what it's called dope card it's pro bowl you know it's not no rookie or anything but um in my opinion very cool looking cards dan marino reactive okay, i'm gonna save this next one for last because really interesting here we got a flea flicker we got Terrell Davis John Elway and Ed McCaffrey mosaic flea flick mosaic flea flicker here we got it's a little green parallel prestige Mahomes Now we got a little prestige youth movement Mahomes. Harrison, <clears throat> excuse me, Harrison Smith, Prism, Mosaic, Pro Bowl action. Here we go for the PC, we got a little Saquon, Mosaic, Got Game. Tyler base got game. All right, next up, these are some thicker cards, but here we got a Donald Driver Gridiron Heritage patch. I don't believe that these are the enclosed player worn used material. Okay, so I mean, it, they are player worn. I wasn't even expecting it to be player worn, but um, you know, not game worn or game used, but Donald Driver, pretty cool. I'm actually building a decent Packers uh, collection, but really cool card there. Next, we got a little Kenny Galladay action, Rookies and Stars patch. Now this patch is also player worn pretty cool. If you saw my uh, previous video, I'm trying to think of uh, upload date, but um, my previous video, 
I pulled the little Galadea silver out of the mosaic pack, I believe. And lastly, we got, well, second to last, last for the uh, the patch cards, we got a Prestige Gridiron Heritage Bernie Kosar. Now this is also player worn, really. I'm a little surprised on that, but um, these, uh, the patch cards were fairly cheap in relation to everything that I was getting. So this card, I, the guy didn't include this in the price of everything because of how horribly cut it is, but I thought it was so interesting. So in, I guess in comparison to like a normal card, it's the same size, but the print got all messed up. If you see down here, like, that silver isn't supposed to be there. And if you look on the back, you can see it even more because the whole top is missing. And there's just this, this white bar. So I thought this was so incredibly interesting because it's, it's just like, it, it's an error. It's an error card. And I know sometimes error cards are actually pretty valuable. Not that I think a Drew Locke error mosaic would be, got game, uh, would be, you know, valuable, but, but I thought it was so interesting, and for, for no charge, I mean, oh man, and look, it matches the background, but that's what I've got, and now it looks like we have one more, oh. looks like we got one more package, <laughs> I accidentally revealed my shipping address to you, so I had to cut that out real quick. But here, oh, a nice little thank you note. If you guys want to read that, thank you for your purchase at our shop. Check out our store for new postings every week. If you have any questions about the order, message us. That is their eBay and email um, I believe the first part of that email is their eBay. So, nice of them to throw that in. Right. Looks like a whole bunch of bonus cards. I didn't order these. Some... Nothing, uh, nothing sp that special. Signed by, oh. I saw the sign by and I was like expecting an auto. I was like, what? So just a whole bunch of pretty old uh, base cards, but not complaining. So, as you can see on the front, there's an auto there. So, I'm going to just preface this with um, the fact that there is really nothing special about this lot. Um, I remember it, it after seeing this first card. Um, it was just really cheap, and it came with a whole bunch of just random autos that I thought was really cool. And, um, and guys, please... Don't use scotch tape. But, um, okay. Alright, so first off, we have a CJ Fedorowitz, uh, rookie auto, um, out of Prism. And that is numbered to 75. So it's a whole bunch of cheap auto numbered cards and, and and there's a few cards that were actually worth it to me but um just thought for the price it was <clears throat> pretty interesting you guys got a <clears throat> excuse me you guys got a sick tattoo but um so that's that next we've got a kevin walker auto looks like out of playbook and that's numbered to 99 
Next, we have a Jamal Lewis inside the numbers prestige, and it looks like an 03 prestige. That's numbered to 2002. All right, so that is a Jamal Lewis inside the numbers numbered to 2002. Sorry about that. Um, most of these seem like they kind of floated up to the top of the top loaders in uh, the shipping process, but. Now this was one of the ones that I was really excited about. It's a mini Devontae Adams rookie, and this is styled after the, I believe, 1960 cards. But I thought that was very interesting, and like I said previously, I'm weirdly starting to build a decent, um, a decent uh, Green Bay. Sorry, I keep cutting. There's a lot of noise going on around me. But um, this is one of the cards that I was really, really excited about in this lot. Um, it's just really unique. I don't think I've ever seen this. So definitely something that was worth it. Here's the other one that I was uh, really looking at. So this is a, da a Darian Thompson. He's, I know he's no longer with the Giants, but this is a Giants rookie card. Um, it's not numbered or anything. This is out of the out of contenders. Um I don't really know if they have too many numbered inserts. Contenders in general, I don't think have too many inserts, but Darian Thompson, Giants rookie auto. And this is one that was pretty cool too. Uh, this is Bernard Pierce. I know a lot of these guys aren't any um, super well-known. Uh, well, at least for me, I could be completely wrong, but definitely a cool, um, patch card to get. Next, this is a Bishop Sankey, number two, 299, and this is a really cool just three-patch card. It's a rookie card. Again, not extremely familiar with him, but it is numbered, and it's a three-patch card. Let's see. Is this... Uh, it is player-worn, which is pretty cool. And this is game worn. So this one is actually game worn. It's not dirty or anything, but. And next we've got a Ronnie Hillman rookie patch numbered to 150. And this is not from any specific game or event. So a little disappointing on that. Next we've got a Riley Cooper rookie authentic signatures out of um sp what is sp i'm not sure i'm not entirely sure but um so this rookie authentic signature that is an on card auto out of 5.99 again not uh i don't believe anybody um too crazy to get an auto of but then lastly we have a jacory harris again not anybody um anybody too special to get an auto of that is an auto Jacory Harris rookie card out of Strata. Um, for the price I paid for a whole bunch of just random autos and numbered and, and patch cards and a few cards that I actually wanted, definitely worth it to me. But that is all that I have for you today for this first round of my Mail Day Mondays, but definitely expect to see more of this. And just thank you everybody for the support. And once again, make sure you're following my Instagram, subscribe to my YouTube, like, comment, turn the little bell notification on to make sure you're caught up to date with everything. But just thank you for supporting.